Hey guys, it's LPS Little Productions here, and today we are going to be showing you guys four super cute LPS DIY school supplies. All of these are super easy to make and they definitely perfect any school series or skits that you're planning on doing. Anyways, let's get right into this video. The first DIY we we're going to be showing you guys how to make are these cute DIY pencils. Toothpicks or skewers. Markers. You'll probably need to use pink, yellow, and black if you want to make a normal pencil. And lastly, some scissors. So what you're going to start off by doing is taking your toothpick and you're going to cut it um, about a little bit less than halfway across. It's going to be about an inch. So just go ahead and cut it. So now that it's about halfway cut, you're going to take the uh, less thick end and you're going to cut that into a somewhat of a point. Now you basically have your pencil. All you need to do now is color it. the lead on. You just want to color the tip of the pencil black just a little bit to make it look like lead. Now just turn over the pencil, get your pink colored marker, and just start coloring the eraser. There you have it, you guys, your own little mini LPS pencil. So now that you guys have your pencils, you're gonna need something to write in. So the perfect thing to write in is a notebook. So we're gonna show you guys how to make this super cute composition notebook. The materials you're going to be needing are cardboard. Try to make sure that it's a little bit thin. Some paper a hot glue gun, and then optional is a printer to print out the cover. You might also need some Elmer's glue. So the first step is to cut two tiny rectangles, mostly the same size, out of your cardboard. And you're first going to trace it out. rectangles of cardboard. So this is the point where you would either print out a little um, cover or you could just DIY and draw your own. So we already have one that is printed out. And it looks like this. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut this out. And you're going to take some glue and just glue it on. So now we have the cover for our composition notebook. And if you guys didn't notice, I did have to trim a little bit off because the cover was slightly um, smaller. So just go ahead and make sure that um, the front and the back are the same size. 
because you don't want them to be different sizes. So now they're the same size and we're gonna go to the hot glue gun. So now you're gonna take the back and the cover of your book and glue it together by the spine. Next, you're gonna take your paper and you're going to cut out a strip that is not too long, but you want it to be about two and a half to three inches long. And you're just going to bend it like this, kind of into an accordion. So now you have something like that. And so make sure that the pages are gonna be able to fit into your book. So that'll be just right. And now you're gonna go to the hot glue gun. Now you're gonna take your hot glue gun and you're going to put some glue right in between the center and the end. And you're gonna get your paper and just shove it in to your book. So now you basically have your composition notebook, but if you have any excess, just go ahead and cut that off. So now we're on to our third DIY. And so the next one we're gonna show you guys how to make is this binder. The supplies you're going to be needing are cardboard, paper, a hot glue gun, and markers. These are optional. So you're gonna start by cutting out a long strip of cardboard. Now that you have your strip of cardboard, you're going to bend it in half. So this is obviously way too long to be a binder. So you're going to take your um, scissors and just trim it down to however long that you want it. So this is about the size of a binder that you want, but you can really just make it however big you want it to be. The next thing you're going to do is cut a longer strip of paper like you did for the composition notebook. Then you're going to fold it accordion style. Now you're going to hot glue the spine of the binder. Make sure the glue, the glue goes inside of it. Then press the paper into the binder. So now you basically have your binder. But since we did fold it accordion style, you're gonna wanna cut those ones apart so that it can make more pages for your new binder. So now um, the rest of this is optional but like you guys can see I did take some glue and glue some paper onto it but that is totally optional. So now it's really just up to you to create what you want. to make LPS pencils, notebooks, and binders. But you're gonna need something for your LPS to put them in. 
So you're going to need a LPS backpack. So this actually, you can't actually put anything in it, but it does just look really cool and your LPS can just like take it to school with them. And yeah, so it would be super cute. The supplies you're going to be needing are some felt or fabric, some scissors, a marker to mark off the dimensions, and, and a hot glue gun. Okay guys, so now let's start making this backpack. So what I started off by doing was making this kind of shape. So it has like a curved shape at the top to be the backpack, and then just like this kind of like square bottom and then so that's going to be the front of the backpack you can just make it as big as you want and then for the rest of the backpack this is when it gets a little bit more tricky um, so since you need the sides to be added in uh, you're gonna want to make some kind of siding so what I do is like I go like this and then I just draw it out a little bit further. So this is going to be the back and the sides. So that's kind of just what I do. Draw something out, kind of like a loaf of bread almost. And then for the bottom, I just cut out like a circle to be the bottom. So something that looks kind of like that. So yeah, that would be good. And you're also going to want to cut out straps, so make sure that you draw those on. So now that you're done drawing out all of um, what you're gonna need to make your backpack, you're just gonna take your scissors and start cutting it out. So now I have all of my pieces cut out and I just wanted to mention a quick tip that I just found out um, which I probably should have thought of before doing this is that you're gonna want to trace out your um, stuff like trace out your backpack on the back side of your fabric because if your fabric is like mine it has um, sparkles on it I'm not sure if you guys can see that um, but I thought it also had sparkles on the back side, so I was just gonna like turn this over, but then it wouldn't have sparkles on it. So now you can kind of see some black around the edges. So um, when you guys, if you guys make this backpack, then you're gonna want to do it on the side that doesn't have any of the design on it. So you can just turn it around and it won't have it on there. So now we're over here near the hot glue gun. We're gonna start hot gluing it together to make the backpack. So, our, this is already hot and it does look really disgusting, but just try not to think about that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hot glue these two pieces together right here, kinda like that. So now it is time to do the same thing on the other side. So now that we have this all together, 
Um, we're gonna take this that we cut out, and I actually just went and trimmed it because it was more of an ovular shape, and I needed it to me to be more of a um, like half circle. So now we're just gonna glue that onto the bottom. Alrighty guys, so now we basically have our backpack. So um, if you want to make this into a lunchbox, then you can just add like a little strap over it and you would probably make this a little bit smaller obviously because lunchboxes are smaller than backpacks. Um, but since we are making a backpack and not a lunchbox, we have these little straps and you are just going to hot glue on the straps. guys so now the backpack is basically done and now all that's left is for you to make it your own and you can really just um, put whatever you want on it like stickers or like what I did with this one is I like took some fabric and I hot glued it on to make it spell LPS so yeah you can do something like that yeah just make it your own anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you decide to make any of these DIYs, please make sure to tag us on Instagram um, at LPS Little Productions underscore official. Bye! Bye.